Insects, written by Martha E. Rusted. Look around for insects. Insects live everywhere, in the air, in the water, on the ground, and in the dirt. Take a look around you. Find an insect. Have you seen an insect sitting in the sun? Insects are cold-blooded. The sunlight warms their bodies. An insect's body has three main sections. The abdomen the thorax, and the head. All insects have six legs, antenna, and an exoskeleton. The world contains more insects than any other animal. Scientists have found more than one million kinds of insects. They expect to find more. Ancient insects. Earth has been home to insects. For a long time, scientists have found insect fossils that are millions of years old. Many ancient insects look like insects from today, but some insects were big. Their wings stretch as wide as two and a half feet. What is not an insect? People call lots of animals bugs, but many are not insects. Spiders are not insects. Spiders have two body sections and eight legs. Ticks are not insects. Eight legs stick out from their bodies. Millipedes are not insects. They crawl on as many as 400 legs. Metamorphosis. An insect's body changes as it grows. Most insects go through four changes. These changes are called metamorphosis. Here is the metamorphosis of a seven-spotted lady beetle. The seven-spotted lady beetle begins as an egg. The larva hatches from the egg. Larva look like tiny worms. The larva eats and grows. It molts. When it outgrows its exoskeleton, Molts means to shed its outer covering. Three, the larva molts into a pupa. Inside, its body changes. The adult beetle breaks out of the pupa. Some insects, such as grasshoppers and dragonflies, go through only three stages. Four, the female adult mates and lays eggs and the life cycle begins again. Insect senses. Seeing. Most adult insects see the world through different types of eyes. <clears throat> Tiny eyes see light and dark. Huge compound eyes have many small lenses. Each lens sees a different part of the picture. Most insects hear well. Some gather sounds with round ears called tympana. Others use hair on their antenna to hear. Touching. Insects feel with tiny strands that look like hair. Tasting and smelling. Many insects use the strands on their antenna for smelling and tasting. Some insects have them on their feet. Sensing chemicals. These strands also sense chemicals. Chemicals help insects to communicate. They use chemicals to find mates and food. Ants. Ants work. Each ant has a different job. The queen lays eggs. Worker ants feed the young ants and build nests. Soldier ants protect the nest. Ant colonies live in nests. One nest might be a home to a million ants. Ants build nests from dirt, leaves, or wood. An ant colony has one queen, but sometimes a colony makes new queens. They fly off to start new ant colonies. Bees. 
Bees buzz. They gather nectar and pollen from flowers. Some kinds of bees live in large colonies. Hives may have up to 80,000 bees. Adults take care of young bees. Other kinds of bees live alone. They lay eggs and nest. The bees leave food for their young when, they're, when they leave the nest. Some bees have stingers. They sting to protect their hive. Not all bees sting. Carpenter bee. An insect egg can be smaller than a period on this page. One of the largest insect eggs belong to the carpenter bee. It is 0.64 inches long. Beetles. Beetles battle. Rhinoceros beetles fight over food and mates. Ladybugs gobble. They are also called ladybird beetles. Most ladybugs eat other insects called aphids. Fireflies flash. The lights on these beetles signal other fireflies. Four wings stick out from most beetles. Two hard top wings protect the beetles. Two soft bottom wings. Beetles fly with two bottom wings. Butterflies and moths. Moths and butterflies flutter by. Strong muscles power delicate wings. Colorful scales cover their wings. Butterflies and moths suck plant juices with a proboscis. This mouth part looks like a straw. Butterfly or moth. Here are some ways to tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth. Butterflies have bright colors. Moths have dull colors. Butterflies have a knob on the end of each antenna. Butterflies have a knob on the end of each antenna. Moths have feathery antennas. Butterflies have wings held up to rest. Moths hold their wings out to rest. Butterflies are awake in the day. Moths are awake at night. Butterflies molt into chrysalis. Moths spin cocoons. Some moths and butterflies break these rules. There are butterflies with dull colored wings and moths that are awake in the day. Cockroaches. Cockroaches scurry. They hide during the day. At night, they come out to eat. Cockroaches run away fast if they sense danger. Cockroaches often live near people. Food, crumbs, clothes, and paper taste good to them. Tough pests. A cockroach can live up to a month without food. It can live two weeks without water. It can even live without its head for up to a week. Dragonflies. Dragonflies zoom up and down. They even hover and fly backwards. Their strong jaws chump insect snacks in midair, but adult dragonflies don't bite people. Dragonflies live near water. Female dragonflies lay eggs in or near water. Young dragonflies live underwater. They breathe with gills. Flies. Flies fly. A fly buzzes around on two wings. Scientists think sticky feet help flies walk on ceilings. Flies eat only liquids. They spit up their solid food, then they suck it back down as a liquid. Mosquitoes are a kind of fly. They often bother people. Females drink blood from people and other animals. Their eggs need blood to grow. If you think you are too small to make a difference, you haven't spent a night with the mosquito. Female flies lay hundreds of eggs in their short lives. Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers hop. Long legs push them high and far. Wings sometimes help them go even further. Grasshoppers chomp. They eat many different plants.
Male grasshoppers sing to females. They rub their legs against their wings to make sound. Insects and humans. Insects sometimes hurt people. Flies spread disease. Swarms of grasshoppers can eat crops. But insects also help us. Bees move pollen from one flower to another. Without their help, many plants could not grow. Beetles break down dead plants. They help make soil rich again. Insects outnumber humans. Scientists think for each human, there are 200 million insects. We must live together and share this planet. The end.